Welcome to Study with Smith Test Guide. This is a free dumb question for CCNA. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with the series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this free dumb question series of videos. Thanks for your help. These questions are carefully prepared after obtaining a paid subscription, but I am sharing them with you for free. They have been immensely helpful in my successful CCNA attempt. Before using these preparation questions, I strongly advise watching all of Jeremy's IT Lab videos, as this was a crucial part of my preparation process. In this video, we'll take a look at CCNA Exam B1, 0, CCNA 200 to 301, Topics Related Questions. Today's topic is Network Fundamentals. Let's go to question 1. Which device operates at layer 2 of the OSI model? Pause the video now to select the best answer. OK, the answer is D. Switch. A switch operates at layer 2 of the OSI model. It uses MAC addresses to forward network traffic within a local network, making it an essential device for creating and managing local area networks, LANs. A switch examines the destination MAC address of incoming frames to determine the appropriate port to forward the traffic to. OK, let's go to question 2. Which layer of the OSI model is responsible for logical addressing, routing, and path determination? Pause the video now to select the best answer. OK, the answer is C. Network layer. The network layer, layer 3, of the OSI model is responsible for logical addressing, routing, and path determination. Let's move on to the next question. OK, let's go to question 3. Which device connects multiple network segments and forwards data based on MAC addresses? Pause the video now to select the best answer. OK, the answer is B. Switch. A switch is the device that connects multiple network segments and forwards data based on MAC addresses. Let's proceed to the next question. OK, let's go to question 4. Which network device provides wireless access to a wired network and often includes features like SSID, WPA2, and WPA3 for security? Pause the video now to select the best answer. OK, the answer is C. Access Point An access point provides wireless access to a wired network and often includes features like SSID, WPA2, and WPA3 for security. Let's move on to the next question. OK, let's go to question 5. Which layer of the OSI model is responsible for reliable end-to-end -end communication between devices? Flow control and error checking? Pause the video now to select the best answer. OK, the answer is C. Transport layer. The transport layer, layer 4, of the OSI model is responsible for reliable end-to-end -end communication between devices, flow control, and error checking. Let's proceed to the next question. OK, let's go to question 6. What is the purpose of DNS, domain name system, in computer networks? Pause the video now to select the best answer. OK, the answer is C. To resolve human-readable domain names to IP addresses. The purpose of DNS, domain name system, in computer networks is to resolve human-readable domain names to IP addresses. This allows users to access websites and other network resources using easy-to-remember domain names instead of numeric IP addresses. Let's move on to the next question. OK, let's go to question 7. Which network topology connects all devices in a linear sequence, where data passes through each device in the chain? Pause the video now to select the best answer. OK, the answer is A. Bus Topology 
The bus topology connects all devices in a linear sequence, where data passes through each device in the chain. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 8. Which protocol is used for securely accessing and managing network devices remotely over an encrypted connection? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is B. HTTPS HTTPS, Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, is used for securely accessing and managing network devices remotely over an encrypted connection. HTTPS ensures that data transmitted between the client and the server is encrypted, providing a higher level of security compared to regular HTTP. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 9. Which subnet mask would you use to create 8 subnets for a Class C IP address range 192, 168, 10, 0? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is B. 255, 255, 255, 224. To create 8 subnets for a Class C IP address range, 192, 168, 10, 0. You would use the subnet mask 255, 255, 255, 224. This subnet mask provides 8 subnets, each with 30 usable host addresses. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 10. Which TCP port number is typically used for HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, communication? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is B, 80. TCP port number 80 is typically used for HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, communication. HTTP is the protocol used for transmitting web pages and other resources over the internet. Let's move on to the tutorials. The questions here are found in attachment. However, explanation won't be available. We will cover next topic from CCNA exam guide in the next video. Thanks for watching.